That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see the water turning crystal clear. Kind of the first little section that looks like the Caribbean. The shallow white rock and clear blue water reflecting out the blue sky. All right, see y'all on the other side. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> it is good to be back in Texas paddling the beautiful hill country rivers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> We're just going down our first rapid of the trip. And boy, does it feel good. It's been so long since I've been out in the Texas Hill Country paddling our amazing rivers. And the Devils is no exception. This one actually might lead the pack. Yeah. Woo! Got to turn around. Oh, oh, speed bump. Oh, my gosh. So spoiled. See if I can make it through a little bump and grind. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta walk them. Oh, we got a ledge. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Out of here. Yeah, we probably don't want to run that. <laughs> no That's way. a huge note. <laughs> oh, that That's going to be a no from us. <laughs> That's incredible. Woo! Woohoo! Aqua Steve! Scuba Steve! Hold the brick. Down the river we go. This is awesome. You can even see there's quite a bit of current moving through here as the river narrows up a bit.
Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't mind the low position, but it's very unstable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shoot you're good Woo! there it is baby uh, i'm okay all right here you go stand up and just yep i don't know my stuff is so it's all attached so just go ahead and flip your kayak over yeah dude all right press onward through a little spill Man, it's nice to have some current. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Here we go. Gotta make up some time. Oh. 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 Now. <laughs> no way I'm getting through that. All right, Brett, take us to the promised land, brother. Yeah, that's a big drop right there. You can't see the bottom. All right, here we go. <laughs> no way! Yeah! We're out here at the Triple Drop Rapid. This is one of the more technical turns on the entire river. You have a complete hairpin turn followed by a three-tier drop. People usually spill, but the crew has been doing awesome. Here comes number five. Yeah! <laughs> it's mayhem at Triple Drop. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Had I known that was coming up, we would have scouted. Dang. I think we went 50% on falls there. Wow. Holy smokes. I ate it pretty good. Guys, we're getting absolutely beat up. The Devils is taking victims. But we're about to move on and keep pressing down river because we're getting close to needing to find camp. That sun is getting a little lower than we'd like and we're just not making the progress that I thought we would. So downriver, and we're gonna to try to make some good time and then keep an eye out for a good place to camp. The muscles are definitely starting to light up a little bit. Nice, we'll take those all day. <laughs> Love that. This landscape is just so incredible. Yes, a little break. Pretty. Wish you could just have time to just like take in every single one of these turns. Well, that looks kind of fun. Oh yeah, classic shoot. Love that. Just stay in this current.
Woo, there's that headwind. Bang. Oh man, that was a tricky one. This looks pretty technical, and I'm all here for it. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is so epic. I'll tell you what, rabbits like that just put a smile on my face, man. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> oh, that was rad. A little bit of work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keep coming across these sporty rapids, which we much prefer versus the long pools. It's just so fun to see some of the geology around here. This is a unique place, that's for sure. Seriously, the wind is so strong, it's like ripping it out of your hands, it's crazy. Oh. Oh shoot. It was fun, but kind of scary. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> When I realized that the boat was gone oh, no. and I still had to go all the rapids just never ended and I just remembered keep your feet in front of you. Yeah, because you, you went down without a good? kayak. Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> oh my I gosh. tipped right at the beginning. Oh, oh my so gosh. I ran there was a large rock. I was forced over to the left. Had no control because Oh my that's goodness. The way I am. Spun spun it's, you it's around. The way I am. And it hit that rock and just that was it. Jeez. That was all she wrote. Oh. That was a rough rapid though. I did not think that this river had rapids like that. Yeah. Because I was saying, no, no, this won't be any different than the, you know, the Frio and its down. That. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh! Yeah! Now I don't have a seat. I'm gonna have to figure out how to rig that bad boy show, up. Show us your rod, man. Found it! <laughs> so that's one of two. And here's two of two. Man. No more fishing. <laughs> the seat's all mangled. It's broken. I try to figure out him. I don't even know, man. I honestly don't think we have a functioning fishing rod in the crew at this point. I really don't, right? No. <laughs> it's all cached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we crashed and burned a couple of times, but we got to keep our high hopes. That's right. We got a long way to go. <laughs> Finished product. So earlier we were talking about what type of fun we were going to have out here and there's this thing called type 2 fun which basically means you're having fun but you're earning every single bit of it and I think we've officially reached that point where it is type 2 fun. It's going to be a miracle if we make it to camp with intact tents <laughs> by tomorrow, you know? No doubt. <laughs> the, hey, the only thing that are making it through safe are the damn <laughs> remote design stuff, man. Everything else is getting wrecked. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is it back? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, basically the next island we see, we're gonna pull over, and get it. Because once it turns dark, it gets infinitely harder to find camp. Man, I'm ready for some dinner. Sun's getting a little low. It's about to tuck behind the cliffs. So we need to put a, a move on finding something. Plus we're exhausted. Dang, that rapid is a beast looking back at it. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh. We'll see what it develops into. Usually, like really good camping's on kind of the outlet of the rapid, so hopefully there's something. Woo! Oh! Yeah. What's up, dude? Ooh. That is the mile 20 paddlers camp that we're kayaking away from. We're gonna go hit one more set of rapids and see if we can't find a more primitive type campground because it just doesn't look all that appealing. And uh, we have a little bit of light left to work with, but these could be famous last words. Should have done paddlers camp. <laughs> oh. So we just paddled a huge pool and now we're starting to check out. There's an island that's made by the river threading through a bunch of reeds. And so we're gonna see if there's anything substantive on the other side. Because ideally we would have some rocks to sleep on and that doesn't look very sleepable right behind me. Ooh, this is narrow. All right, I'll let you know how they taste. Oh my gosh. It. Oh. Oh. oh no. Oh. On your left. Oh my gosh. On your right. Oh crap, I lost my rod. Somehow. Oh no. Coming through. Oh. Oh man, that is, of course, a fantastic way to end the day. Oh, we've got a massive island. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yes. Dude, we have a huge island to work with. We just wrapped up another reed-filled rapid, so we're gonna peruse this island and see where the best place to camp is, then go from there. The gas tank is on E. And we desperately need some nutrition, and some rest. It's beautiful out here though. It's gonna take some love, but we can make it work. The tents. We just have to flush out all the snakes. You know, paddle camp would have been nice, I guess. My bad, guys. That sucks. We found camp. There's a beautiful sunset to boot. We're kind of covered up in this canopy, but you can still see it over the cliffs and through the trees. It is the Devil's River. It's pretty silent in camp just because everybody's so exhausted. We're going to finish up setting up our shelters and then I think we're all pretty keen on starting to cook some food. Good morning guys, it's day two. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up camp and getting coffee ready. Our bodies are moving slow this morning. We got pretty beat up yesterday. <laughs> Don't take a picture of the bad one. Some character in that. Yeah. Failure. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're all a little bit delirious from yesterday. Our muscles aren't qu quite tuned for performance yet. <laughs> no ground. <laughs> Hey, pour it up all over the place. No grounds. <laughs> Fresh 
coffee. No. River, <laughs> river coffee. Camp there last night if they made reservations. Man, I gotta think no. No, I think, remember there's, there's only no a way. certain amount of people on the river at a time. You grind your own? Oh yeah. It is, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Yeah, if you don't have any of that, you got to get... they did that specifically because the the Sawyer squeeze I think was like the first one of these we just finished packing up camp getting our kayaks all loaded out and we're gonna head on downstream we have a big day ahead of us yesterday was about half the miles we're gonna try and cover today and you saw how gnarly that was so we're hoping that it is just as fun but maybe just a touch less on the hair. But I saw we have another named rapid coming up soon. We're gonna hurry on and hit it. First couple paddle strokes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling it in the hands. It wouldn't be the Devil's River without a morning headwind, right? That is insane. That thing is rolling, man. Good. Good job. Backwards, that's absurd. Yeah. And then hard left, I think.
How did he stay on? What? Whoa! Oh, what? Oh my gosh. So pretty. Heads up, Will. Coming through. Heads up, Will. You're good. Oh. oh dang. Even though we're not on one of the named rapids, it's still hairy traversing all of these. We have a long day ahead of us. Once again, it doesn't seem like we're making as much time as we wanted. As you can hear, this wind is just a beast. Oh. This is sick. It's so pretty through all these rapids. It's like paddling. River, man. This place is stunning, and as we get further down river, it's opening up and just getting more and more incredible. Can't wait to see what's around the next turn because it looks epic. This trip is so sick.
Oh my gosh. Wow. Freaking incredible. This canyon is insane. The water, the views, the way it just goes from deep pool to narrow, it's magical out here. The Devils is really living up to its name. I don't know which way to go. All right. Sometimes it's easier to stand and pick the flutes. Man, each one of those rapids has its own, its own little character. That's awesome. We're making our way down river, looking out for Paddler Camp 29. That's gonna give us a little bit of an idea of where we are on the river and let us gauge how many more miles we need to put in, how far behind are we, and, uh, and, how, and how far do we need to go. But this part of the river is really making me understand the majesty of the devils. It's super shallow here, so you have to kind of follow the flutes that the limestone creates. Over time, the erosion kind of channels these rocks, and it makes it pretty tricky to paddle. Like for here, you just got to follow the V. And it doesn't guarantee that you're not going to also run into a rock, but you do little adjustments. We go left here, even though there's probably a little bit more water to the right. We'll see if we can't try to meet up with that right mainstream. Now, if this makes sense to you, don't worry, it's not foolproof, so it's worth what you paid for it. <laughs> Yeah, generally speaking, you can do a lot less dragging if you take a little bit of time to study the river and try to follow its main course. You can see it jogs left over to the cut bank, which is generally a pretty good spot to be. And then just ride it out from there. Wow, this is incredible. See how blue that water is? Amazing. Oh yeah, might do a little bumping and grinding on this section. The gates, the grassy gates. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like it's a left here. Oh, never mind. More grassy gates. Woohoo! Oh. The wind's back. Wow, that's, that's an incredible cliff face. 
face. It's like a jungle back in these reeds. Whoa. It's deep real quick. Ahoy! This is absurd. No way. I'm using my paddle as a way to detect snakes. I hear y'all. Oh yeah. Here we go. Just came ashore. Looks like we have a nice gradient boundary campsite behind me. Flat space for tents. This is definitely an improvement over last night. And we're all exhausted, so I think we're gonna make this home. Camp all set up. It was an absolute grind to get to this point, but I think tomorrow's paddle is going to be much shorter than if we had stopped at one of the earlier places. Today was a lot of work, but it was all worth it. Beautiful. It was the best part of the river. It was today, not yesterday, in terms of beauty. But oh, totally, totally. It was awesome. Just paddled right over. Mm hmm. It took serious effort to get to this point. I think there's just kind of a sense of relief that we made it this far and kind of things went according to plan. With that background, damn. Mm -hmm.
Got another pot of coffee on the burner. Just packed up camp. It's been drizzling all morning, but progressively getting a little bit worse. Fortunately, we only have about a mile and a half today, and we can take our time. But based on the drone footage last night, it looks pretty hairy downriver, so we're gonna see what, what that's gonna entail. We just packed up everything at camp, and now we're headed downriver towards the takeout. We have about a mile and a half, but it looks pretty treacherous. This was an epic place to call home for the night. We're excited to take out, but at the same time, it's a little bit bittersweet because the Devils has been so gnarly and so fun, you don't want it to end. But final stretch, here we go. Let's see what it has in store. Check it out. It's the line with a buoy. Of course, the finish line to the Devils is gnarly. But we made it. Here we are. Approaching the takeout. <sighs> Guys, we did it. <laughs> Man. Right behind me is the finish line for the Devils River. This was a tall task and each of these men took it in stride. Man, this is definitely one of the hardest trips I've ever done, but I'm starting to understand why so many people come out to the Devils and spend a weekend here. It's awesome.